We are putting you on alert. Numbers showing a big problem for runners. A survey by Runners World shows 43% of women versus 4% of men have experienced harassment of some sort while out for a run. And we're learning this information after the death of Molly Tibbetts, that 20 year old college student who vanished while jogging. Tonight, the Iowa State Medical Examiner says she died by homicide from multiple sharp force injuries. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Morris taking a closer look at what runners should do to stay safe. The rail trail in South End is a hot spot for runners here in Charlotte, but police say people need to be aware of their surroundings at all times, even in places that appear to be safe. For Paula Pridgen, running is a way to escape the cares of the day. It's probably the one point in my day where I can really uh, get away from all the distractions of life. She takes precautions while running alone, but doesn't want the fear of what could happen to keep her from her passion. I'm not going to not go for a run just because something happens somewhere. Um, you know, I think it's fortunate it doesn't happen um, that often. According to a runner's world survey, the chance of being murdered mid run is very small. But 30% of women runners say they've been followed by a person in a vehicle, on a bicycle, or on foot. 18% of women runners say they have been sexually propositioned. And 3% of women runners say they have been grabbed, groped, or otherwise physically assaulted. CMPD recommends runners lower their music, know their surroundings, and run in groups or in areas near other people. Criminals, if they want to target somebody, they don't want there to be witnesses. So uh, typically they would try to go after just one person compared to, you know, two, three, or even four people. Police encourage runners to let someone else know their location and call 911 or notify an officer if uncomfortable on a greenway or trail. But we do have a, you know, a large presence out there. Uh, we want to make sure people visibly see us and you know make sure they feel safe. A bit of comfort to people like Paula. You know, it makes me feel better that I could still run faster than most of these guys that are cat calling me. Who says she won't let anyone ruin her run. If you have an iPhone, there are location settings you can share with others while out on a run. Please say if you do feel uncomfortable on a trail, run to an area with more people. Reporting in South End, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte.